The Executive Senior Officer of Sustainability Development Department at the Seven Holdings. I appreciate your participation in our presentation. We are honored to be here at Fuku 26 Japan Pavilion. At the same time, we recognize the importance of partnerships and collaborations with our team members, group companies, and stakeholders who work together cooperate together with us, and of course, with our customers. Otherwise, we cannot be standing here today. As the, as the title says, our role to carbon neutrality and circular economy is through open, through open innovations with our suppliers and customers. From now, our team member Ayaka Nomura will explain our group's environmental targets and actions. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Can you, Can you hear, hear me? me? Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you. Siru. Okay. Okay. Let me start with our introduction, the Seven and I Group. The Seven and I Group is a comprehensive, integrated, is the, it sound okay? Okay, good. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Siru. Let me start with the, our introduction of Seven and I Group. The Seven and I Group is a comprehensive, integrated distribution group centered on the retail business, including 7-Eleven convenience store chain. In Japan, the group has 22,600 stores, which serve approximately 22.4 million customers per day. This means that more than one out of six people in Japan visit our store every day. However, our stores are not only located in Japan, but also business globally. Some of you may have seen 7-Eleven stores in various countries. We operate 74,000 stores worldwide, including 7-Eleven stores operated by area licensees. Approximately 53.8 million customers visit our stores around the world every day. We have a network of real stores, the physical stores. In other words, Having many points of contact with customers is the strength of 7i Group. In July 2021, we disclosed our midterm management plan from 2021 to 2025. With a strength of leveraging the many points of contact with our customers, and we plan to further grow and deepen our business. In the plan, we have set targets, us aiming to be a world-class global distribution group and have set forth the management strategy centered on convenience stores operations for both in overseas and in Japan. Having said that, the sustainability management is applied in every single aspect of our business management plan, as it is shown in the slide. We recognize that sustainable society is essential for sustainable growth and the well being of people. Biodiversity, environmental for sustainable um, environment, and the planet as a whole, as hence for the uh, companies too. For this reason, sustainable management is set to be our foundation of our business plan. The core of sustainable management is our environmental initiative called Green Challenge 2050. We believe that seven, setting environmental targets 
is important in order to pass along a beautiful planet to future generations. Green Challenge 2050 has been declared as 7MI Group's group-wide environmental targets set in May 2019. It sets forth our vision of society and core targets for 2030 and 2050. Under Green Challenge 2050, de decarbonize society, circular economy, and society in harmony with nature are the societies we aim to achieve. To do so, we set targets in the four main themes, reducing CO2 emissions, measures against plastics, measures against food loss and waste, and sustainable procurement. Now, let me explain our targets in each of these four themes. To begin with, reduction of CO2 emissions is the first and foremost direct measures to counter climate change. Our targets are 50% reduction by 2030 and net zero by 2050 compared to 2013 base year. Of course, we are aiming to reduce CO2 emissions not only in the scope one and two, but also in the entire supply chain, including scope three. Later, I will introduce the pilot testing of store operations with 100% renewable energy. The second theme is measure against plastics. In the light of marine plastic waste problem, we have set two kinds of targets to reduce the amount of plastic used. First, we target to eliminate the use of plastic shopping bags, aiming to eliminate them by 2030. The second target is to replace oil-based plastic uh, containers and packaging used for our private brand products into eco-friendly materials, 50% by 2030 and 100% by 2050. We believe the key elements of measures against plastics is to reduce the amount of plastic used, as well as to ensure the plastic we have to use is collected and recycled responsibly in the closed recycling loop. We will shortly introduce our efforts to recycle plastic bottles in a completely circular manner. Although we will only have time to focus on our two themes today, which are on CO2 reduction and measures against plastics. Let me briefly introduce the uh, remaining two themes, Green Challenge 2050, namely measures against food loss and waste and sustainable procurement. All the four themes are equally important for our sustainable management. With regard to the uh, third theme, measures against food loss and waste and organic waste recycling, we are aiming to reduce the amount of waste per million yen of sales by 50% by 2030 and 70%, 75% by 2050 compared to 2013 base year. The unavoidable organic waste is recycled into animal feeds or composting. We set the recycling rate of organic waste to 50% by 2030 and 100% by 2050. Tackling the issue of food loss and waste is urgent and necessary for us since our 60% of domestic sales comes from our food related business. The food supply chain as a whole needs to be transformed. The last but not least, the fourth theme is sustainable procurement. We believe that the how we source the raw material matters significantly. We have set targets for our responsible sourcing, 50% of raw materials for our original products should be sustainably sourced by 2030 and 100% by 2050. Today, we are unfortunately unable to go into the detail of these two themes but we are happy to take this opportunity to know and meet the people who could collaborate together in the future. Please visit our website for more details. The link is provided at, pan at our panels in the virtual pavilion. 
or we have two communication days during COP26 and our team members are happy to meet. As I explained, our target for reducing CO2 emission is to achieve net zero by 2050. We are setting the various milestones. As you can see, in April 2021, we submitted our commitment letter to SBT, and we are now moving forward to have our CO2 target to be certified by SBT. Meanwhile, in December 2020, we joined RE100, an international initiative that aims to use 100% renewable energy for the electricity use in our business activities. Today, we would like to share our example of store operations with 100% renewable energy. Okay, this picture is from our pilot project on 100% renewable energy store operations. I would like you to look at two points, the batteries in the circle on the lower left of the slide, as well as the solar panels installed on the roof of the 7-Eleven store, which in the middle of the slide. This figure summarizes the framework of 100% renewable energy stores. Let me explain. We implemented this pilot project at seven, several 7-Eleven stores back in 20, 20, 2019. The system is generated, the electricity via solar panels on the roof and store the generated clean energy in the battery attached to the store. So far so simple, but not so. We have replaced conventional single pa sided panels with double-sided panels developed by Kaneka Corporation. This means new solar panels can generate power on the backside as well, which has greatly increased the efficiency of power generation. The battery we use here is actually comes from the reused battery from electric vehicle. So we are recycling the battery here. The technology is provided by 4R Energy Corporation which reuses the battery of Nissan motor cars. The role of battery here is crucial for this project because the renewable energy supply is unstable and environmentally constrained. Thus, the battery will store the generated electricity during the day and it releases for the use at night. Of course, the Electricity can be used as power source in the case of emergency and dis disasters. Unfortunately, the solar generated electricity is not enough sometimes. So we procure the post fit renewable energy to supplement the power with the cooperation of smart tech company. As shown here, through this collaborative effort and open innovation with our business partners, we are able to re realize 100% renewable energy stores, and we are continuing our journey to net zero. Our group's transition from conventional fossil fuel energy to renewable energy is accelerating. We are promoting the installation of solar panels on our group stores group-wide. In the case of Japan, we have already installed solar panels on a total of 8,600 stores of 7-Eleven, Ito Yokado, Yoku Benimaru, Yoku, Sogo Sebu, Seven and I Food Systems. Ito Yokado began operating power generation system using the large scale solar panels at Ario Uchihara store. This system will be able to cover about 25% of the store total electricity consumption with renewable energy. This system is one of the largest solar power generators installed in commercial facilities in Japan. We set the target to increase the number of stores with solar power generation 
to 11,000 stores by 2030. Furthermore, we are a, also developing the procurement of renewable energy. With NTT Group, we established a way of procure sustainable renewable energy. The generated energy is sent to both some of the 7-Eleven stores and Itoyokado stores. The electricity we source has to be sustainably generated. That is why we built the plant with great care for the living environment, for the people in the community, as well as the biodiversity around the facility. The developing sites were initially old baseball grounds where it was no longer in use. Thus, no large scale construction were needed to establish the sustainable procurement of renewable energy. We conducted environmental assessments in advance and continue monitoring and conserve the biodiversity on the site. We believe that it is important to procure the, and consume renewable energy actively. So we hope this case will be a good precedent or incentive to increase the renewable energy consumption rate in Japan. Moving on to the next point. I would like to talk about the, our challenge to circular economy. The machine showed, shown in the picture is our plastic bottle collection machine installed in our group stores. The children in the picture are our customers. And I like to point out that the bottles she is holding is crystal clean. This is because our customers have washed it peeled it off the label and removed the caps. Our circular economy has, cannot be achieved without our customers' supportive actions. And this action from customers results that seven and I group plastic ma materials sending to recycling is A grade with great quality. This machine is one of the crucial device to complete the material recycling. And at the same time, this is the important connecting point of our customers where the gap in the recycling loop will be closed. Okay. This chart summarizes our efforts for complete bottle to bottle plastic recycling. May I explain that the slide? Are you able to see the slides? Okay. Okay. In June 2019, we started selling the special beverages. The bottles are made from 100% recycled plastics collected from our in-store plastic bottle collection machines. There are two points I would like to make and emphasize here. The first point is that the plastic bottles are made from 100% of the out of plastic bottles collected from the machines in our stores, developed by Teraoka Seiko. The series of actions are customers. Customers first buy the drinks and then drink them. Then the empty bottles are collected by machines in the store. The bottles are either crushed or compressed inside the machine, which enables the machine to store more bottles than just a plain box. The increased storage means less labor required for the store staff to maintain. And as well as it reduces the number of shipping to the plastic recyclers, the downsizing is useful, not only increasing the amount of bottles to be collected, but also it fits to a small space such as convenience stores. The collected bottles are then transferred to recyclers. The recyclers will make plastic pellets and then the bottles are newly produced out of the pellets. Then beverage manufacturers will fill their products, such as Coca-Cola, 
Uh, finally, the products will come back to our stores and be sold again. With the partnership with our um, business partners and customers who are supportive to this recycling action, we have achieved a closed recycling loop for a plastic bottles. This is the first kind in Japan that a specific distribution group achieved a complete closed recycling scheme of plastic bottles. As this figure shows, the amount of plastic bottles collected is increasing. With the support of our customers, this green bar shows the amount of plastic bottles collected and the orange line shows the number of customers who cooperated in this plastic bottle collection. The number of customers who take part of this recycling action is increasing every year since 2013. In 2020, the number of stores with the bottle collection machine exceeded 1,000. As a result, the total amount of plastic bottles collected in this year was 8,700 tons, about 12 times the amount collected in compared to 2013, and this is equivalent to 330 million bottles. Of course, technological innovation is important for a sustainable society, and we are dependent on this technology to some extent. But shifting a social value and behavior change, even if the action itself is a tiny or small, with the participation of 2 million customers and 330 million plastic bottles collected, we believe changing to positive social value and positive behavior change are also considered to be a great innovation. Okay, to sum up, we recognize that the road to carbon neutral and circular economy cannot be achieved by 7i Group alone. But with the cooperation with our important stakeholders, our customers, business partners, research institutions, local communities, food systems as a whole, we can be a part of solution to the climate change. As stated in the 17th goal of SDGs, partnership for the goals, we would like to work together with partners who are like-minded and stepping up for a better world. Okay, finally, I would like to make an announcement. For those of you who are interested in our action or possibly working with us, we are more than happy to more we are more than happy to communicate and interact with you. Please visit us in front of our exhibition panel at Urban Area tomorrow, Tuesday, November 2nd, and next week, Tuesday, November 9th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Greenwich time in UK and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Japan time. In these two days, our team members are stationed and await you for more interaction and, of course, inspiration. Thank you, Thank for, you listening for listening and, and your, your attention, attention to presentation. presentation. If you have, if you any, have questions, any questions, please, please come, come to our pavilion. pavilion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.